I cannot be the only one that is angry about how this movie ended. Can I be? No, I can't be. I cannot be. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am Farid Sifa, aka Reader with the Juice with the Sauce. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm a Nigerian based content creator, YouTuber. I do movie reviews, I talk and I vlog when I have the time to do so. And I do really hope that you're going to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you to new viewers and existing viewers. I appreciate every single one of you. So today we're reviewing the latest Nigerian movie. The latest movie in town, the talk of the town. The number one Nigerian movie on Netflix right now. The one that is bursting people's brain. And this is no other movie but Olo Ture, the most anticipated movie of the year 2020. I think we can say that about that movie because it's for now that's about the most anticipated movie in the country for this year right anyway guys this is a movie by mo abudu ebony life tv and this movie starred sharon oja omo umi dada beverly osu omo umi the singer um omoni oboli blossom chuku jeku shegu arinze daniel f young was in this movie too um who else bokola from um, the men's club was also in this movie like this movie was a star studded movie so the story of this movie follows the life of a young journalist Oloture so now Oloture has been sent undercover to get information about human traffickers in the country and now she has to go by the name Ehi so Ehi joined one of the um, prostitution houses in Lagos then she started joining them to go for businesses just to know about the way they are doing things you know how they meet their customers how they run things how things go down. you know when you want the information about this kind of people you really need to go undercover you need to do like them ahead that's like you being an uh, how do they call it a participant observer you're really acting in your experiments you're making them feel like I'm not an observer but you're really an observer anyways that's what oloture went for in this movie along the line while oloture was gathering information about these people the story now became about herself because some things happened some horrible things happened to her that she now became part of the story so she could not even back out of the story that's how that was how the movie now really really started so this movie had a great storyline guys i was really so amazed by the storyline because i'm like wow this is a this is one of the issues bothering nigeria as a country not only nigeria even africa so many people are trafficked outside the country every year every now and then many people die while being trafficked outside the country so this is an eye-opener this is an issue that people really need to focus more on you get so i was really happy about the story like they really did have a good storyline and the delivery by the cast goodness the girls in this movie sharon oja finished work my god goodness never be more proud of sharon oja like she bust my brain for this movie Ma. even omo umi dada um lala kindoju wofai i think i remember i forgot to mention all those people wofai um ibukola all the ladies in this movie, all the main ladies that were trafficked, that were part of the politician gang, they really, really did good. Like, they put their all in it. You know the part that blew my mind? That part where they were swearing an oath, like the time when they were already going to travel to Italy, where Auntie Alero took them to the riverside to swear an oath not to betray them. That part was there in my brain. Like, I was like, okay, are they really naked? Like, Nigerian actresses are now really comfortable being naked in movies? Wow. <laughs> I saw I was, I was like you guys wouldn't they get backlash for this but then again I'm like you know what this is them being as realistic as it could get because we see these kind of things in American movies and other movies so I think that was them being as realistic as possible but for them to actually do that no respect concerning our Africa and Nigerian culture and all of that like that was brave like that was bravery anyway so that part really busted my brain and many things that happened in this movie like they did good they did really really good but some things still did not add up now let's get into the cons of this movie mm. first and foremost when the movie started when a he also known as oloturi took a bus she went she ran away from that her client in the hotel she jumped window she now wanted to enter bus yaba bus i don't know where she was going but she entered the bus i think yaba bus yeah because i heard them i was hearing them calling yaba 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 she entered the yaba bus in the midnight and she did not get to yaba until sun was up until sunrise and i'm like are you guys playing <laughs> what is this about that part was really i was i was confused like did the boss break down did something happen did she get kidnapped along the line what happened how can somebody enter bus from night did she travel to sokoto ha no that part just really really made me like you know what this movie did not pay attention to detail like that part it was it was it was such a very silly mistake that's what i will say like it was such a silly mistake number two 
how this movie ended. Hey, people want to kill me with question Friday. What did I just watch? I'm confused. Why did it end that way? Is that how it ended? What happens to Olotu? What happens to Eli? Like, even me, I have many questions like, what happens to Olotu? Does she just become a prostitute in Italy like that? What happens to um, Beauty, Linda's younger sister that ran away? Is that how she's just going to, she's just going to run into the wild and we're not going to see her again? Beauty and uh, Linda that was killed, what happens, like, don't they just, don't they investigate the case more? What happens to a maker? What happens to the human traffickers? Do you just get away with this? What happens to Sir Phillips? Did they, did the maker just punch him in the toilet? Did he, did he die in that toilet? Or is, is there going to be more investigation? Like, too many questions need to be answered from this movie. But guys, I've been hearing that there's going to be a part two. <laughs> like, this movie was a good movie. But just the ending did not add up and i'm really happy that there's going to be a part two so we hope that it's going to we hope that they will tell us what really happens afterwards because this movie has the potential of being the best movie in africa for the next amvc year like and many many awards that way so because all the ladies in this movie they finished work and as i heard that it's going to be a part i'm like okay guys now you guys are talking because if there is no part two this movie is almost going to be like a waste of time because i mean this movie is a great movie but the way it ended, there were too many questions, too many loopholes. So those loopholes need to be filled before it can actually make sense. Because as far as I'm concerned right now, it doesn't make sense. So when there's a part two, when we really see what happens more in the past, it's going to make sense. Because you can't just give us a story about human traffickers and then nothing is done about them in the movie. You know, the girls are trafficked. What happens to the girls after they pass the border? Did they really take them to Italy or did they die while going to Italy? What happened? Well, like many things need to be answered, but I'm really happy that I, there's going to be a part two. So I hope that the part two comes soon. So we really need to understand what happens in the movie because Olotura's life cannot just end that way. No, no, like you guys, this movie had me in my emotions. Like I literally cried when watching this movie, guys. Like, you know that part where they killed Linda? It was really, really sad to watch. And then the part where um beauty and lottery were crying for help at the border nobody went to help them even that part i was like something is missing could people just really be crying at the border and nobody answers them this way like is that how it's really done many people were there the immigration officers were there they also answer them and also this movie is an eye-opener it just really makes us understand that even the immigration officers in the country are involved in this human trafficking they know about it so nobody is doing anything to curb it ah goodness this movie it really had me in my emotions but as emotional as this movie was there was also some bit of humor that's from the guys alero, alero. you see alero alero's part really made me understand that you know what not everybody that's a big madam is really a big madam Alera is a big madam that is trafficking people so she makes her money from human trafficking and then she has a shop for cover up where she sells clothes and people think oh my goodness she's making so much sales and that's why she has money or she has one rich husband somewhere but meanwhile Alera is a human trafficker and this is a story of many nigerians like you see someone that is rich you think that they're doing something legit but they're doing something they're doing the shadiest things ever i really really do hope that Alera is nabbed in part two and her stupid boys I hope that Sir Phillips is nabbed. I hope that the story gets published. I hope that Loture is safe. Food. I hope Loture does not die. Loture must not die like this. Like you guys. Oh God. But all in all, I quite enjoyed this movie. I enjoyed it. And kudos to Mo Abuju, all the writers of the story, the producers, the cast and crew, the cast especially. Kudos to every single person that put this movie together. It was a great movie and you know. You should see it, Susha. Even though you may not like the ending, but you should see it. It's an eye opener in one way or the other. So, thank you guys for watching my review. I remain your truly, Farida Mustafa, aka Rida with the juice with the sauce. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Till I come here again next time, God's willing. Really. Remember to leave love, laugh, and learn because those are the four L's to live by. Stick around to my channel. See you in my next video, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>